go ahead and try to talk to me. The two-year-old babies, the boys are in town for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile on Friday. I think it's race number eight. I'm certain of it. And I tell you right now, all ten of them are derby dreaming. But we got some news for the rest of the nine. Godolphin is in the house. You see me with my uniform on, and I don't even have my Breeders' Cup outfit on. Boy, East Avenue is going to be in business. You know speed is king. I don't care where you're at, but out there where the turf meets the surf, I might as well be at Mama's Park. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm your speed king. Of course you are. Well, tip sheets are available. Please get your orders in. Thank you, everyone, for your support that have gotten their orders in and their payments. I really do appreciate it, for sure. And email us at speedking 20 at yahoo.com and or text the office, 732-804-0637. Let's dive in. Friday, eighth race at beautiful Del Mar. The two-year-old babies of boys are here. And I'm telling you, it's all about Godolphin for me. I'm telling you, this is our best bet, maybe, for both days. Well, the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, you know it already, and it's the springboard to the possibility of getting into the first Saturday of May. You know Fierceness won it last year, the two-year-old champion. He's in the classic. You're ready to get beat down over there, <laughs> I think. And um, I love Fierceness, but I think he don't get beat down. But anyway, he's the favorite. How can that possibly be? But anyway, the two-year-old boys on on Friday, hey, Godolphin, you know, you know I, it, it, I'm a homer. Uh, they are my favorite outfit of, of all time. And I think they got a good one here, y'all. I think they got a good one here. You'd better talk to me. <laughs> Please. I think they the rest of these horses is going to have to burst in the flames to beat East Avenue. Well, the number one horse in the eighth race, uh, Breeders' Cup Juvenile, 2 million a mile and 16. The number one East Avenue, bred and owned by the Dolphin. That's right, a homebred for sure by Medaglia Dora. Wow. By Medaglia Dora on the back end by Ghost Zapper, his grand's daddy. Right? That is awfully, awfully good, y'all. And I'm telling you right now, this horse has two starts and two wins. Now, obviously, a lot of things got to manifest, and nobody can manage horses better than the Dolphin. This one is trained by Mr. Walsh, for sure, Brendan. Well, this one comes out of the Breeders Futurity, grade one, over there at Keeneland on October 5th, back in 27 days, and you ask, who's in the odds? The smooth, smooth. Tyler Gaffleyon. Well, we expect him to break from the rail, twirl a sit stick, and pose for the pitcher. Should get to the front, right? It won't be overly easy with the number five, Jonathan Way in here. But hey, we don't have to be on the lead. We can sit in the catbird and then make the move. I love this horse in this spot. I think the rail is, is a great spot for this horse going a mile and 16. Should not lose any ground. Don't necessarily have to go to the front. But Jonathan Way probably will, okay, and uh, maybe Gateway Car may try to break fast. Just let him go. But my top pick, obviously, in this year's Juveniles East Avenue, obviously a Godolphin runner. And I'm telling you now, the Future Pool Derby is open. A horse is 10 to 1 at some places, 12 to 1. You better get a future bet in because come the first Saturday May, if things go the way we think they're going to go, and that's a lot of people thinking that way, particularly Sheikh Mohammed and Matu, Matu, all the boys over there, right? Listen, you ain't getting 10 to 1 on the first Saturday of May. So take a $40 bill, $60 bill. We love East Avenue, obviously. We're having a bunch of fun here. We're supporting our outfit, Godolphin. This one's on the back end by Ghost Zapper. Hello, Medaglia Dora is the sire. Hello, Bobby Franco. This one's bred top and bottom, y'all. And uh, this one should run really, really well, right? Five to two is an overlay on this horse. I got him at fair odds at eight to five. Number one horse. We think it's going to be a beatdown. It's our best bet. 
probably for the entire two days of Breeders' Cup. We love East Avenue, our number one bet. But he better be getting up because Jonathan Way, the number five, is installed at nine to two. And all things being fair, that's a square price on that horse, right? This horse is extremely fast, and it troubles me because Jonathan Way has two starts and two wins, the exact same record. Both of them are undefeated. And if that wasn't enough, I know Paul uh, Paul Bauer is doing the conditioning, but guess who's riding Jonathan Way? That scares me. Mr. Rolex, Joel Rosario, oh boy, oh boy, you know, so you're going to get a, a Rolex ride, it's going to be on time, so he does scare me a little bit, because when Joel Rosario is on the front end, see Jackie Warrior and many others, right, see Nick's go, I'm sure of it, right, hey, listen, Jonathan Way is a very, very nice horse, this horse, uh, is by uh, Vokama, Vokama, I believe, on the back end by Indian Charlie. Uh, Mr. Bauer is clicking at a very, very high win percent. Him and Joel Rosario over an eight and nine race combination together is clicking at 45, 50%. And this is a very, very nice uh, horse for sure. A uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, equine. Uh, he's an Ohio bred. But they don't read, they just run. So our second pick and a big time contender, uh, being fair, is Jonathan Way. This horse can flat out motorboat, right? This horse is fast. I mean, I think, you know, we're going to beat him because we're going to improve. And he should improve. He's never done nothing wrong. You can't knock him. Everything is beautiful. One to grade three, hands down, with Rosario in the arm. So again... Very, very nice race here. The number five, big time win contender here for sure. Let's give him his props. Jonathan Way, our second pick, and probably will be on some of my pick threes for sure. Our third pick in here is, well, you know Chad's going to talk a little bit about that Chancer McPatrick. Take the post position on this one. Out in the 10 hole, he cannot lose a, a, a length or two going into the first turn. He doesn't have a bunch of speed. So Flavian Pratt, the anchor, uh, I'm sorry, Flavian Pratt, hopefully he don't miss the break, but he needs to tuck this horse in very very quickly before they get to that first turn because this horse cannot lose uh, a, a length or two or be two or three wide into the first turn with the two top contenders in here he can't give them that kind of ground unless he improves or burst in the flames that old chancellor mcpatrick but i'll give him a little love and i'll make him our third pick i think it's going to be a beat down for sure but he'll be trying to pick them up and laying them down when he comes down the lane for sure. And by the way, Chad Brown's doing the conditioning. Flavian Pratt is riding, who's done a great job this year with like 42, 45 greatest state races for sure. Uh, this horse is by McKenzie. He's bred beautifully. Bernardini, the old timer on the back end, and is also undefeated, three for three. So our top three picks are both undefeated. This one has a little more experience than my top pick, East Avenue and Jonathan Way. They're two for two. McPatrick, the number 10, at three to one, is three for three. So having won the champagne, and I told you before, horses that win the champagne, just remember the third leg of the Triple Crown, they always run really well in the Belmont States. That's just a side note. This horse also won the Hope Boy at Saratoga. So again, you can't knock uh, Chancellor McPatrick. So for all the people out there that's backing him, I can't complain other than the post position, okay? And whoever's backing Jonathan Way, I can't tell, say nothing. The horse done nothing wrong for sure. Our third pick and another contender, well, uh, Chancellor uh, McPatrick. I hate that post position for him. Just watch him going into the first turn. If this horse is three or four wide, he would have to burst into flames to beat these. He can't spot these horses a length or two and beat them unless he improves. Now, they're babies. They do jump for sure. That's our third pick. 
Then we're going to round it out, y'all, with the number seven, our Superfector Gaming. That's his Bobby B is in the house. He's at his home track, and this one is also undefeated. The number seven gaming, right? Beautiful price at eight to one. This one is by Game Winner. Hey, that was an old one. And on the back end by Joe Hannensburg. Haven't heard that name. This two-year-old's a nice horse. Won the uh, Del Mar Futurity, so he, this is his home court for sure, and broke his maiden across this racetrack right now stretching out uh, gaming to a mile and 16 two turns so again he may show some speed as well all right but let's use him underneath it is Bob Baffert's home uh, backyard so let's give him a little love for sure so there it is in the two-year-old baby race everybody's derby dreaming I said a lot but I don't even care because it's all about the number one our top pick that's right we think this might be the one for the first derby for Godolphin. East Avenue is extremely, extremely uh, talented. Our top pick, our second pick, we gave some respect to Jonathan Way, the number five. Our third pick, who I think is in a bunch of trouble way outside, is Chancellor McPatrick. And then we rounded out just giving Bobby B a little love, right, with this gaming. So for us, one, five, ten, seven, just like that. You could go ahead and box it up. Me, not doing it. Going to put in a future bet on East Avenue for sure. Then we're going to start punching tickets with East Avenue. And our pick fours and pick five, yes, we're going to single this horse. Our best bet. Having a bunch of fun. Great time for racing fans here. My name is Wayne Bolden. I'm the Speed King. And there's a horse running called Speed King on Friday at Churchill. I think it's race number five. Everybody in the community has let me know that. East Avenue, down the road, y'all, in my opinion for sure. He's being a homer. I am.